Well, it is the 10th of February today, and it's time to clean up my greenhouse. And you see I've already made a little stab at it, but uh, I wanted to show you before we started up uh, in earnest, this uh, piece of celery that I was showing you here earlier about how it survived through the winter. Now, it is surviving, but the roots don't look that good. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. But I thought, you know, let's see what happened. It's... It's actually growing, doing better. I think these leaves are bigger than they were, and uh, these are certainly new leaves here. So, uh, anyway, but for now, <clears throat> it's time to clean it up. And as you can see, these troughs here are full of old leaves and old gunky water. And uh, so what I've got to do is clean all those out. And uh, when I get it done, what I'm going to do is probably plant lettuce in here, simply because... Uh, it's still cold. It is the middle of February, even though it's warming up a little bit. Now this greenhouse uh, is the one. This is the first one I ever built, and you can see looking at it, it's it's definitely homemade. But what I did with this one is I took the trouble to double insulate. I don't know if you can see that, but you see there's a uh, there's an inner inner layer and uh, there's an outer layer, and that really helps <clears throat> because even if it gets freezing in here this uh, greenhouse I've noticed over the years it will uh, maintain uh, about 10 or 20 degrees overnight or 10 or 15 minutes sometimes 20 degrees overnight what the outside temperature is so in other words if if it gets down to 20 degrees Fahrenheit outside this will get to stay down to 40 degrees and uh, anyway so it, it works pretty well and this one will keep things from freezing and what I've got in here just so you can see <clears throat> just a little uh, it's just a it's eight feet wide and it's about 20 I think it's about 24 feet long and I've got a swamp cooler on the end and the reason I have that you can see it back there is because uh, in the summertime or even when it gets moderately warm it just gets way too hot in here because this direction here is south and this is a brick wall here. This is a garage. So what happens is this thing can get just intensely hot. So you need the swamp cooler and you need the, the you know, this, this uh, fan here to blow things around to keep it from getting intolerable where, where things just will not grow. But anyway, so let me clean this up and... Uh, We'll uh, start growing things in here, maybe start some uh, plants in the, some pots, and uh, we'll get back to you when we're all done cleaning it. Okay, I've been working on this south greenhouse, the original one I built, and as you can see, it's cleaned up. Well, I've still got to clean these out here on this side, but this side is all cleaned up, and as you can see, the water is flowing. See, there's the water coming in, and it goes down that tray, and comes down on that hose way back there and it comes back out anyway the water is flowing I've got my rafts in here and I'm gonna put some other stuff up here and uh, but it's running and uh, the the cooler believe it or not it's March the uh, second or third or something like that the mar the uh, and it's still freeze it freezes at night here and uh, the uh, this thing gets up in the 80, 80 degrees easily during the daytime so, uh, and those coolers have been coming on. They're set by a thermostat here, and the fan comes on. But anyway, it's, uh, so I'll let you know that I did get it cleaned up. Well, most of it anyway. And what I'm going to do here is I have some lettuce plants that I'm going to put in here. And they love to grow in here at this time of the year before, you know, the summer comes and it really gets hot. So, we'll show you that next, and then we'll follow how the lettuce grows here. <laughs> 